Welcome back folks, I'm Frizz and today I'd like to take some time to talk about how exactly Paizo managed to nail martial classes in Pathfinder 2e, since they really knocked it out of the park. Every martial class in this game feels distinct from one another in their own distinct ways, and they all manage to have their own specialties. The best part about this is that those specialties work well and are broadly applicable, and that every class is just a blast to play. Alright, so before we get into what Pathfinder 2e does differently, we first should probably talk about why other TTRPGs don't always have the best martial classes. For the record here, I'm talking about game design behind these characters being flawed, not that they are bad. Even though I'm complaining about marshals in other editions, I basically only play marshals in those editions. But anyway, the main problem that I have with marshals in other TTRPGs is that every single ability that they get ends up falling into one of a few categories. It either gives them more attacks, makes them hit a bit more accurately, makes them hit harder, or it just does something to the person that they hit. While none of these are bad per se, it does lead to basically every martial character's turn feeling pretty similar. They choose someone to hit, and then they attack a whole bunch. While there definitely is some deviation, there isn't enough to really add a whole lot of interesting stuff there. Whether or not you're a barbarian or a rogue, you just hit someone a bunch for a lot of damage. And yes, Pathfinder 1e is a lot better about this than D&D 5e is, but what martial character doesn't boil down to hitting someone a lot really hard? There are more on-hit effects in Pathfinder 1e, but every martial character just aims to spend every turn full attacking someone to death. Pathfinder 2e handles this differently by restricting how often people can attack, and making attacking with your entire turn a bad idea. Just spamming attacks over and over and over again is only really a good idea for flurry rangers and possibly a fighter, but for everyone else, there are better ways to spin your actions than that. You can move into a flank, demoralize, prepare to aid an ally, raise a shield, and all other kinds of options. What makes this even better though, is that you get a lot of options from your class itself. See, whenever you're picking your class feats in Dewey, it should become obvious pretty quickly that there aren't many options that are just you hit harder or you are more accurate. Feats give you different ways to spend your actions that might let you hit harder or hit more accurately, but they all require actions and aren't just effects that apply universally across your character. Effectively, Pathfinder 2e is filled with active way to use your actions rather than passive abilities that buff your entire character. Take Power Attack, for instance. Rather than just being an option that you can use whenever you attack, it is a specific action where you take two actions to strike, but you deal one or just additional weapon damage dice. It's way more tactically interesting because it's more of an investment for maybe a bit more of a payoff. Since as you level up you get more and more class feats, and class feats tend to give you more different active abilities, what ends up happening is that as you level up a martial character, they gain a lot of versatility rather than just sheer damage output. A high level character is likely to have a good amount of flexibility available to them, and can adapt to a bunch of different situations. Oh, you're fighting someone who's flying up in the air and shooting arrows at you? Why don't well, don't just rely on your wizard to cast fly. Jump up into the air and hit them. Fighting a spellcaster? Whack him over the head to stupefy them. There are so many different options and ways to build martial characters in 2e, and it's an absolute blast to play. I guess what this video comes down to ultimately is that martial characters in 2e are versatile by their very nature. And that's way more fun for me personally than just doing the same thing every turn. And I feel like that's a, not that personal of a statement, really. Basically, every single martial character in Pathfinder 1, he just wants to full attack every turn. And that's by far the most effective way to play one. In D&D 5e, basically every martial character wants to take an attack action every turn. In Pathfinder 2e, things are way more diverse, and martial characters actually have to make decisions about what they want to do on their turn, which is so, so much more engaging. To me, personally. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and maybe you've learned something. 
I know not everyone really likes a lot of the changes that Pathfinder 2e made, but it's so hard going back to other systems and seeing martial characters being so straightforward. What do you guys think? Do you think that martial characters feel a lot better than other editions? Or am I dead wrong? Let me know in a comment down below. And I guess like and subscribe while you're down there, I guess. Regardless, until I see you next, live a wonderful life.